Bismillahir Rahim today the topic of our discussion is concept of power in international relations we are also going to discuss the elements of power as well as the dimensions of power so let's start our presentation first of all we are going to start with introduction well this quote from john t rock sums it all up what is the difficulty of defining power first i'm going to read this quote then i'm going to explain what is the problem with the definition of power power is not a simple and stable phenomenon indeed it is a very much a political chameleon constantly changing even while it remains the same well this quote is very beautifully written and completely explain the difficulty behind explaining power so let's move on what is the difficulty behind explaining power as we know that power is the most contested idea in the international relations it is the idea that is most variably understood in ia and most troublesome for some students to understand as well so we are going to answer that question why definition of power is so contested according to steven luke there are three reasons behind that controversy so what are the reasons we will st- we will discuss these one by one first primitive concept cannot be explained by other notions of less controversial concepts like there are no other primary concepts that define power like those concepts that are less controversial more understood by majority of the people and more accurately defining the power there are no particular basis explaining the definition of power what is the second reason behind powers difficulty in definition the second reason behind the controversy over the definition of power is it's fluid it's meaning that it changes with different perspective perspectives from other people the definition of power changes like as in the earlier video in which we discussed six principles of hans j morgenthau he also said that the definition of power changes with time and place with the environment with the cultural environment of the politics so it is very fluid concept it changes that's why it is very difficult to give a single concise definition of power the third reason behind the difficulty in understanding power is that it is thought and action controller in the international politics what we conceive power power and powerful will change how pol- the political structure arranges itself like for some state a the definition of power is something very different but for the state b it is quite different so with the definition of power their actions changes that's why it will be very difficult for any thinker or any ir thinker to predict the behavior of both the states at the same time that's what the difficulty is with the definition of power now let's start with the historical definition of power in the historical times in the past power was mostly defined by these few elements it was defined by the population size territory natural resources economic strength military force and social stability so it was believed that the state which has maximum population more territory and an abundance of natural resources and a mighty economic as well as military strength and social cohesion and social stability have the most power that was the historical definition of power 
these were few elements that defined any state's power. Now we are going to discuss some general definition of power that is mostly agreed by most of the IR thinkers. First, as we know, it is the most contested idea in the international relations. So the def dictionary definition of power is ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way. The second definition of power according to the dictionary is the capacity or ability to direct or influence the behaviors of other or the course of events. That's the de dictionary definition of power. What's the IR definition of power that is most commonly known? It is that power in interstate relations may be defined as states ability to control or at least influence other states or the outcomes of events. It's the ability of a particular state to influence other states in doing what they what the other state would not dorm, would not normally do in a normal situation. That's what is the agreed definition of power. But as we know it is changed for most of the people it changes with the different thinker or the different people having different perspectives now we are going to discuss the dimensions of power so let's start the first internal dimension corresponds with the direct dictionary definition for a state's capacity to do or act something without being externally influenced basically what it is saying is that Internally, a state should be that much powerful to the extent that it is insulated from outside influence. It is deciding its internal matters by its own power without being influenced by an external actor. What's the second dimension of power? It's external dimension also corresponds to the dictionary definition of power as a capacity to control the behavior of others to enforce compliance means controlling other states and accepting the state's point of view which is influencing the other state so these are the two dimensions of power now we are going to discuss the elements of power what are the core elements of power let's start the first and the foremost element of power is tangible elements. What is meant by tangible elements? Tangible elements are those elements that we can easily see that are physically present in the state that can be counted like the population, territory, natural resources, industrial capacity, of a country or a nation, agricultural capacity and military strength and mobility. These all are tangible elements of power that can be quantified easily. The second element of power is intangible elements like the leadership of statesmen and its personality, bureaucratic organization, efficiency, how the bureaucracy of a state works, what's its efficiency and type of government, what type of government is governing, social cohesiveness, social integrity, what it, that is what it means, reputation among other nations, foreign support, support from other countries or other states and also dependency either the state is dependent on other states or it is that much independent in its own definition these are the elements of power well that was my presentation thank you very much for listening last but not the least like comment share and subscribe 
اللہ حافظ